Reddit is restricting access to their API to third-party applications, and they're charging some apps like Apollo, which is one of the most popular third-party Reddit apps, as much as $20 million per year to use their API. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with APIs, you don't know what it means, it stands for Application Programming Interface. And it's basically a set of standards that you create for interacting with some kind of application. You know, oftentimes it's online apps like Reddit, right? So we have a standard for how to see the, the photo in a post, right? We have a standard for how your app makes a request to get comments. And there's a standard for uh, if you're signed into the application and you do an upvote, how that upvote is sent to Reddit servers and then how it's able to show up. And uh, there's a standard for how your DMs work. There's every single aspect of the Reddit application is, that you're using or every single aspect of the Reddit platform that your application is interacting with is going to go through an API. Now, part of the reason that this is happening, well, I'll, I'll give you the reason that Reddit said. So Reddit claimed that you know it's really really expensive for them to uh, let people use these APIs. You know it's expensive to to run Reddit, right? And a lot of these third party applications are not necessarily generating as much revenue for Reddit as if you were using the actual Reddit application. Okay. Now Reddit is also going public. So this is the main reason that they want to start charging for this API, because if anyone's going to buy into Reddit stock, they have to prove that they're able to turn a profit somehow. So corralling everybody into a Reddit app or into the official Reddit app where all the ads are going to be official ads that are sent by Reddit and everything like that is going to allow them to better show profits, you know, better show like this is how many people are on our application, this is how many people are interacting with these different subreddits, and it's gonna make it easier for them to profit off of it. Now, Reddit did concede on some points to allowing people to have access to the API. Like they said that they're going to allow people um, that need it for accessibility purposes, you know, people that need like larger text or that need it to be on uh, high contrast settings and stuff like that. Those, you know, apps that are doing that, that are for accessibility purposes, they're still going to have access to the Reddit API. Um, but things like NSFW content is no longer going to be available on third-party apps. That's right. If you want to coom to random thoughts on Reddit, you're gonna have to use the official app. But you know, Reddit might really be shooting themselves in the foot here. I mean, there's so many different communities that have had these blackouts, you know, basically subreddits that are not going to let people post on them as a way to protest Reddit making this decision to charge for their API. Um, obviously, the third-party Reddit apps are way better than the actual Reddit app because there's more people using third-party apps than the actual Reddit application, okay? But so many of these third-party apps are going to have to shut down now because they cannot afford to pay that API price. So some people are gonna just go ahead and use the Reddit app for all of their Reddit activities, but I think a lot of people are just going to stop using Reddit altogether. Um, you know, especially when it comes to people using Reddit for this NSFW content. I mean, I didn't look into exactly how many people use Reddit specifically for porn, but I suspect it's a very high amount. And also NSFW doesn't necessarily mean porn. I mean, they're, uh, at least in the past, there used to be just like gore reddits and like some real vile stuff like that. Um, I think that's gone though now. I don't really think gore reddits exist. So yeah, the stuff that's NSFW for the most part is going to be like porn and I guess maybe nature is metal, right? Some stuff from that is probably considered NSFW because it's like animal gore. Um, but the real issue with forcing people to go through the Reddit app to look at NSFW content is they're going to end up restricting it to, and they're probably going to end up making it so that you have to sign in. 
and so that's something that a lot of people aren't going to want to do okay like if you're gonna go look at your you know waifu you might want to keep it a secret okay you probably don't want to be logged in and uh, have statistics of like all the subreddits you follow and stuff on an account so this is a really good opportunity for people who scrape reddit for people who don't actually use api and they're you know the chad web scrapers to scrape a lot of nsfw subreddits and then i guess just create their own websites that effectively let you see the content on that subreddit but you don't have to sign in and now that means instead of reddit making a little bit of money through coomers that are using third-party applications now they're making zero dollars because they're on you know chuck's smut hut <laughs> instead of reddit.com you know it's uh really shooting themselves in their foot here